do is that I'll squeeze out like the price action and then <coughs> maybe look for a date uh, let's say 2020 né? let's just do 2020 then I'll switch to a daily chart this is how you backtest né? you squeeze out the price action you cut it up uh, you use like uh, a paid version of trading and then after that uh, this is where we analyze the markets now so on the highest time frame on the daily you put out like your high and this highest high here and then you have your overall low and then looking at the market structure we have an impulsive uh, structure happening here we have an impulse correction and then an impulse and then we started correcting so let's just draw out like the case of evidence and then see what we will get so this is another trend line here giving us like some type of a structure and then if you have a question you can just ask so what we will do on this uh back testing session we can have like uh, five entries risking one percent so which means we'll be risking one percent the trade and then it's five entries and then our take profit it's about one two three we're risking one percent just to gain like uh three percent né? that's what we'll do and then on the let me draw out like this overall structure here so i've drawn out like the overall structure and then we switch to a four hour time frame And then what I'll be looking for uh, mostly is low risk entries and then low risk entries are those you just have to wait for the market to break structure like this after breaking structure you wait for a tight flag of which is six to eight hours but you'll see that uh, when we get to that part and then let me just draw out like the structures that we have and then this area here like this I just do this now and then this is the type like that i'm talking about this is the nicest one a picture perfect one around here and then it's on the four hour you'll see it like on a one hour chart just because we enter like our trades on the hour chart now. so that is where you find like that nice uh type flag entry so on the hour chart i hope i did it okay yeah so this is the type flag that i'm talking about we can just read this thing out here so it's it just made like a type flag on that uh, trend line here so this is how you enter the trade sell stop around here below structure if, if you're entering a trade you use like a sell stop on this one below structure and then your stop loss is just above like this area here then you're tagged in then after you're tagged in uh, let me just do this uh, let me just do this. Where is that thingy? So let's say you have like a tight flag around here like this. And then let me just remove this, this here. Then you place like your sell stop below structure. Your stop loss is just above here. Then you aim for the break of structure so that you can get like the overall 90% uh, rule of which is around here. Né? This is your aim. And then if we play price action now, let me just do this. Move it to three. You're tagged into the trade and then you move like your stop loss when you reach like one percent uh profit né? so let me just do this and then you can check like for your your your, your profits so that you can move like to break even so that you don't get like uh, unnecessary losses so you're at 1.15 profits 1.15 profits at the moment so what you'll do is that you move your stop loss to break even which is around here let me change the color for that one let me just 
make a test a text uh stop loss sl let me just do this stop loss so you have your stop loss break given and then let me just play the price action let me just play the price action let me just make it a little bit faster and then you're still in a good trade now let me just stop that and then we're still at about let me just check two point two percent two point zero two percent around here and then remember that you're aiming for the overall 90 percent through and let me just try and play it out so this is where you get like that uh, larger corrective move now. let me just do this this is where you get that larger corrective move and then on that larger corrective move what you do is that you uh, start to forecast if you if you're forecasting and then you have an entry what you do is that you play, you place like a ray line around here anticipating that the market will just correct reach this double top area and then you look for a sell off just around there ne? that's another thing that you can do let me just get a move that this one i hope you understood like the concept behind uh, a low risk entry ne? yes it's a, a tight flag yeah six to eight hours so if you check like around here uh it's more than six to eight hours so you had like enough time to enter the trade and then you could have managed it very wisely or very nicely just because after moving to break even maybe you would have uh maybe locked some profits using like the structure eh? maybe looking around here let me just check maybe looking your profits just around here maybe for 0.53 percent even if you get taked out for that 0.53 percent but uh when you stack like those 0.53 percent uh in a period of two months or three months you'd have like uh five or six percent around those zero point something percent so let's continue we are looking for uh an entry so let me just remove that and then put back like all, all the price action that we have okay this is what we had i was just showing you like the uh scenario about uh a tight flag now how to go about like a tight flag so let me just speed up the price action so that we can get to it so we are currently around here now so what we will do is that we currently broke structure we can look for a tight flag around this area here for us to continue to the downside or we may wait for a clear push down and then a larger corrective move now so that we can take an entry at the top and then look for sales now so let me just play the price action a little bit slower this time so it seems like we can get like an entry around here uh, let's just wait just because remember i said we are risking five one percent per trade and then an overall well, overall trades will be like five five of them so we are retracing back and then, so what i'll do on this one is that i'm just going to uh, rain the price action back a bit so what i'll do is just do this put it around this area like this and what i'll be looking at is this high here and then this high around here and then the entry that we are looking for is for a clear push down and then get like a tight flag around here and then we sell off with this double top around there now. so we can wait for a retracement candle 
or an engulfing candlestick pattern. I hope you've watched like your uh, the the course that I gave you so that you can understand everything that I'm talking about. Let me get to lessons. Okay, seems like we are pushing back to the upside. So I'll just put a ray line like this. And then put another one at the top. So we have like an ascending channel. We broke this double top area. So we are looking for some type of a retracement and then we sell. So let's just do that. So, and I'm not going to enter like any type of trades. So this is the risk entry trade. Now we have like this retracement candlestick or an engulfing candlestick. Whatever, however you can call it, it's fine. And then I can just use this one here as our value area just because we are done with the other one. So let's just place a sell stop just below structure. And then we're anticipating this as our first take profit for about 2.7%. Or if you want, you can just uh, go to the M15 and then look for an entry on the M15. So let me just do this. Let me just do this. And then our first target is this one here. Né? So let's play the price action. So we are tagged into the trade. We're anticipating a break of structure of which it broke structure. So we can't move to break even as of yet just because, okay. So now we can move to break even. We are at about 1.95% profits. So we can move to break even of which is around here. There is a stop loss around this area here. Let me just do this. <clears throat> so now I'm just editing like uh, putting like a stop loss and making a trade okay so yeah this is the stop loss and then after hitting like the first target we just move your your your, your trade to break even eh? let me just do this so we hit out we hit like a break even so we didn't lose anything we didn't gain anything from this trade so what we do now is we just look for another entry so you can evolve the structure like this and evolving the structure so we remove this one and this one and then now my thought process is that we will have like a dead touch at the top of the structure or we can have like a double top override so we can get like a slow mover like this around this area we hit the double top we push down maybe create like another tight flat so that we can sell and another scenario would be completing this one two three at the top and then we look for sales and then all those things that i was talking about will be determined by uh, how price action moves from this area here to here or here now. So let's play the price action and see. So we're a bit correcting, <coughs> reaching like that, those areas. So we are currently at that double top area. We can wait for an override to take like ourselves, or we can wait for a clear confirmation of which is a push down and then a tight flag but I, pref I prefer like a risk entry we are already at the top of the structure we can just place a cell here and then our stop loss is just above here so let's see okay so this is an evening star né? and then we have oh we didn't complete that evening star so let me just do this change it back or we can just place an entry like on the break like on this one uh, we can place an entry on the break and anticipating like the third touch and then uh us entry on the break of structure stop loss just above first take profit on the third touch for about 2.3 and then the overall target remember is at the bottom now 
so we attack them to the trade as you can see here and then let me just check running at about 0.74 percent and remember i said we move to break even at about one percent now Let me check. And then the price action is a bit corrective on this one. I don't know if we will get like those impulses or it's just going to take us out. <clears throat> well, that's corrective. So this is a corrective price action, eh? as you can see here. This is a corrective move. Let me check. We are still into the, we are still in the trade. So <clears throat> we hit stop loss now. So now we refine and then we continue. So I'll just go back to the daily chart and just the, the four hour chart and just check the overall price action if it's still intact. Né? So I'll just remove these ones here. No, let me just put that back. So we lost one percent so far now. Let me just remove this. Yeah, okay. Fine. And then let's go back to the hour. So on the hour chart, this is the overall structure area of which we can look for sales from there. Okay, so let me just remove everything and then just focus on this area here. So I'll be focusing on this area just because we have reached like that zone. Okay. So we have an ascending channel, double top, man. The ascending channel, and then we have that double top within there. So let's wait for a clear break. Maybe we can get like a tight leg so that we can look for continuations. So we have like the clear break. So let's just wait for the tight leg. Seems like we are not getting uh, any tight legs. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so we have like a tight flag now. As you can see, it's more than it's more than six to eight hours, and then we have some type of a scoop around here. Now. The scoop here gives us like a, a clear confirmation that we can continue to the downside, and then the clear double bottoms that I'm talking about are these ones here, these ones within here. Now. So yeah, it makes sense for us to look for sales. And this one and then our sell stop just below and then stop loss just above and then you have to check if you are around that uh red zone or you're still at the amber zone so it means that we just have to get like a clear push down that will break structure or the slow area here just because when the market is at the 90 percent rule it tends to just correct 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 up until now so we'll just see what happens on this one just because this is our first tight flag on the hour chart so i don't think it will just give us our problems now so we are not tagged into the trade as of yet so do the same thing you remove even if, even in the live markets now you do the same thing just filter out, remove up until you get into a nice entry. So this is a nice entry just because we have the double top, we have the push down, and then this is the corrective move. And then we have this retracement candle at the top of the structure. So what I'll do is that I'll just throw out the overall structure. And then if you have like any questions, you can just ask me so that I can clarify everything for you. Yes, I want to know if uh, when you begin to analyze the the chart you don't looking for you're not looking for 
the face of the market i've already checked the face of the market i've already checked the faces you can see here there's an overall downtrend around here and then we have an ascending channel of which is a reversal pattern we had the push down around the double top area so we look for sales from here got it okay so so you don't have you don't need to look uh, the phase of all the pair just the current market just the current market yeah you look at the okay. current market and then the phase you look at the phase just by identifying like where the market is and then by identifying the market where the market is you have a descending channel this uh this says that uh, the market is going to the downside and then you have an impulse corrective move with an ascending channel and then an ascending channel is a reversal pattern to the downside net and then you have this clear impulse down on the daily chart net this is the highest time frame that we can use and then we have the corrective move around this area here so we look for cells that will break like structure of which is here and then up to this area here but you'll see it as uh, as 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 you continue the testing you'll see everything happening yeah okay. so so let's go back to the hour chat so on the hour like i said we have this uh impulse down yeah impulse down and then the larger flag impulse down and then the larger flag that is trying to form up so we can take an entry around this area for a market execution mm, but i think we should just wait now don't force things just because we should have taken the trade after this candle close here and then we should be in the trade with this one here so let's just wait and see what happens let's not force things so we are going seems like we are retracing back so uh the thought process now you change structure like i said you always change structure you always check up on your markets now Okay, so what I'll be expecting is a push up and then a push back to the downside. Ne? Simple as that. Ne? And then that uh, that push back to the upside is just a corrective move to create a double top. And then that's when you can push back to the downside. Ne? And then let me just remove those. okay so it seems like we are at that high value area that i was talking about so i'm just going to fix up the price action and then remove this one here and then what i'll be expecting for us to take an entry is a retracement candle as i always say yeah? a big red candle should come up so that we can take an entry to sell off now yeah? uh let me just wait let me check so we didn't get like any entries now. So let's just see. Okay. So we got like uh, some type of, let me go back to the daily. Check in the daily, the daily. So we had that top of the structure here now. So let's switch back to the hour. Press the chat. So on the hour, so which means I'll be focusing on this uh, current market structure here. To move these here. And then let me draw out like the overall price action around this area here. Seems like we have uh, more price action that we can use. So this is the price action that we've been using. And then we have the 90% rule around here. So if you look left, you'll see that we have a clear impulse, a corrective move, an impulse down. The same corrective move is happening. This one here, this happening here, but in a form of a larger version. And then let me just do this. Uh, let me just move that. And then let me just cut price again. Same thing happening, but in a larger form like this. Let me just 
you understand the concept now ne? yes yeah same thing is happening same thing happen like uh, on a daily basis in the market patterns repeat themselves same thing here double top area and then we sell off so around this area we can look for a retracement or a tight flag then we sell eh? so let me just do this so i think i can just take a risk entry on this one around here and then remember we lost about one percent so far eh? then our limit is about uh five our limit is about five percent let me just put them nicely so we are in the trade so now i can move to break even do you agree to move then, now yeah i think i should move to break even let me check uh no 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 let's just wait up until we get like uh one percent let me check here seems like we're creating some type of structure within here okay so let's check put this back Like a Seems like we can get like a entry around here. But I won't scale in just because we haven't moved like any stop loss to break even and all of that stuff, ne? Okay, so now I can move, ne? Go check. Yeah, now I can move. And then another reason uh why I'm moving to break even is because we are in a value area of which the market can just retrace back to the upside we had touches here touches here touches here touches here and then we aim for the to break structure né? so that's our main aim for the market to break structure so let's just do this and then stop loss here stop losses here né? So let's just check We hit break even again so the journey continues we look for another entry i think we can just add in the week around there and then let me just put the real line around this area here so we can get like an entry maybe Seems like uh took us out and then it just decided to drop like crazy. So what I'm thinking at the moment is we can get like some type of this move here and then we look for sales from this area here now. And then it seems like we have 10 minutes left on this live session. Let me just be fast. Oh my god. So let me just see here. Maybe we can get like an entry. Just check here. Same scenario. We get like the overall double top. Yeah, and then we sell off now. So let's just see. Oh my God. So 
we haven't touched like the same area that I was talking about now. So maybe we can wait it out. So yeah, I'll take this one just because we have an evening star around here. Or teaser tops now. We have two teaser tops here. Those spikes. And we can take a shot around here. Stop just above. So we haven't been, we haven't we have been taking like uh break events and then we have one uh stop lost hit now. So we have one percent gone. So this is not the nicest ascending channel that we can work with. And then I said we aim for about 3%. So at this stage, uh, I aimed at about 4.1%. Uh, so let's just see. So we are not tagged into the trade. Um, it's fine. And then I can just remove the entry. And then we continue. Oh, let me just see. So we can look for another entry around here also. It's in line with the ascending channel and the double top. So we can look for a sell at the lows. And then our stop loss is just about here. So let me just squeeze it out. First take profit 3.5, 4.7. Okay. <clears throat> we are not tagged into the trade. So I can just remove it again up until we get like an entry. And we had like good entries. So yeah, let me just do this. Okay. So I'm going to take like an entry uh let me just see on the break. No, I don't think I should take like an entry on the break. Uh let me just wait for a tight flag and then we sell off instead of a break. Let's check one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's enough for us to take a tight flag now. Do it like this, push it back. And this is a tight flag. It's not picture perfect, but we can just take this one now. Instead of a break and a retest, 2.6, 3.4%. So yeah, it's fine. Okay, so now if you're not tagged into a trade, you just go with the price action. Go with the price action. And then we can have like a mini double top around there. Just do this. So you're tagged in. Oh, moved it too fast now. It's okay. So we're currently at about 2.47%. Then move to break even. And you just have to place your, you just have to move like your stop loss to break even, my king. Even if you see that uh, you're hitting break even all, of, all the time, it saves you from being like uh, in wrong trades now. Uh, and then we're aiming for about. 4. Point something percent ne? instead of this one here we're aiming for the overall 90 percent rule of this larger flag ne? so i'll just lock uh some profits uh maybe about two two percent let's just lock two percent and then let the overall trade run uh, for the overall TP, ne? which is about 4 point something. Oh, 
as you can see here we didn't manage to hit tp and then we are chasing back <sighs> okay oh so we closed at about 2.16 percent so we are up like one percent now so you know, i think maybe the the session is about to end just because we have like 45 minutes we are left with 49 40 40 40 40 seconds yeah so is there anything that you took on this live session or anything that you didn't understand is there anything that you didn't understand mr williams mm. I think the main way is uh, when you put the tie flag, you have to. It, there, there is a tie flag and uh, the a double light. bottom with the ascending channel. Yes. That are, I think, high probability of win. Yeah. And the risk entry. Uh, at, the, at the top of at the, the structure or at the bottom? Oh, oh yeah, or at the bottom. You, okay. have, you have been watching uh, your content yes okay cool so we will get like to another session maybe tomorrow or if you have like any questions uh, you can just ask me in the group now okay yeah uh for for the analyze we can analyze and put in the group yeah you can just drop anything that you want in the group as long as it's uh forex consent then you can just drop anything okay so <laughs> so we can uh, put in the group uh, things that that, that, uh, are, that are mainly focused on forex, not anything else, ne? Okay, okay, only forex. It's yeah. Important. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll see you on another session, <laughs> since you are the only one who has been like watching, uh, being in all the sessions, ne? Okay, man. Sure, sure.